Hello everyone, this is Janelle O'Clue of Lojo Immigration, where we provide you with confidence and clarity of your immigration legal matters. All right folks, so today's video is about H-1B CAP cases, but specifically premium processing of H-1B CAP cases. So first of all, I am relieved, as many of you are, that USCIS has resumed premium processing of H-1Bs. Okay, so for those of you who participated in uh, this year's CAP, meaning that you got your CAP case filed during the first five business days of April, that would have been from Monday, April 1st, 2019, through Friday, April 5th, 2019, if you got your H-1B CAP case filed during that limited window, then your case was included in the H-1B lottery. USCIS said that they conducted the lottery on April 10th and they know who's been picked. All right, so folks, first of all, if you haven't gotten your receipt notice yet, don't worry, all right? It isn't that all the receipt notices went out at once. They've been going out on a rolling basis. So if your friend got her H-1B um, uh, receipt notice and you don't have yours yet, that's not for you know you, you don't have to worry about that they're going out on a rolling basis okay so once USCIS has sent out all the receipt notices for the cases unfortunately that did not get picked in the cap uh, USCIS is going to return those cases they're going to return the whole filing including the filing fees back either to the petitioning employer or if the employer was represented by an attorney to the attorney's office Okay, now let's talk about the premium processing. If you opted for premium processing and your H-1B cap case was for change of status, then you would have either had elected for premium processing at the time you filed the H-1B, okay? And first of all, let me just say this quick thing, no your chances of getting picked in the lottery are no better just because you pick, you opt for premium processing. I get that question a lot. Oh, if I do premium processing, does that mean my case is gonna get picked in the lottery? That's irrelevant. But if you did opt for premium processing, USCIS has stated that they will actually start that 15 day expedite period for premium processing. That is going to start on I want to make sure you can hear me well <laughs> that's gonna start on May 20th okay so the actual date for the premium processing case cap cases starts on May 20th if you did not opt for premium processing at the time you filed your cap case then yes after May 20th if your case was selected in the cap you can choose to upgrade to premium processing now for those of you who wanted to consular process your H-1B cap case, all right? USCIS um, actually did not allow you to opt for premium processing at the time you filed. They're gonna announce a date later on by which the consular processing H-1B cases can be upgraded to premium processing. So right now, they're just sending out the receipt notices for cases that were picked in the cap. Like I said, they didn't all go out in one day. They're going out on a rolling basis, after which they're gonna be returning the cases. So I believe they announced that they got approximately 200,000 um, cap cases that were filed this year for um, a maximum, you know, there are 85,000 uh, uh, possible, okay? All right, folks, so I hope you found this information helpful. Um, if you do have case-specific questions, then by all means, you can reach out to us here at Lojo Immigration, schedule a paid legal consultation, and we can discuss your case issue. You can find us on the web at www.lojolaw.com. Thanks so much for watching this video, and if you learned something, give it a thumbs up share with others and look out for more videos from Lojo Immigration. Thanks for watching. Bye.